Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary. I hope you're having a great day. This is the 2023 Acura TLX. It's the A-Spec trim level. And today I'm at Or Acura here in Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm going to give you the information to answer the question. Do the features match the price on this model? It has an exterior color of Performance Red with an ebony interior. And if you watched this video, or any other video on any of the other Acura models here at Or Acura, new that is, this doesn't apply to used, only to new, but if you come into the dealership here and tell whoever your salesman is that you found out about the vehicle through one of the Vehicle Visionary videos, you automatically get $500 off. In this day and age, every bit helps, might as well take advantage of it. So let's dig in a little bit deeper into this model. And if you're a fan of the 10th generation of the Honda Accord, but you're saying to yourself, I want a brand new vehicle, but there are some things with the 11th generation that just aren't there, those things are actually here. One thing in particular that the Accord simply doesn't offer. The overall look and stance and handling characteristics of the TLX are sporty, Definitely a lot of fun to drive. And the front end is highlighted by the Jewel Eye LED headlights, the LED daytime running lights, basically LED everywhere you look as far as lighting goes, including down there on the lower portion of the bumper with the LED fog lights, the classic look of the grill with this model. Now you might wonder about that plate right there over the Acura logo. That actually helps to enhance the signal for the safety features, the driving aids for this model because they're located so far back into the front end. So that just amplifies everything, kind of almost the way it looks with the grill and the way it's designed there. And what are some of those safety features? Well, you have traffic jam assist, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, there's a lot there. And that one thing that I was talking about that you can find yourself opting for that you cannot get on the Accord, all-wheel drive. So you can either go front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive here. And speaking of that particular subject, let's talk about tire and wheel size. 255 on the width, a lot of meat on the ground. That's obviously going to contribute to solid handling. Very good at staying stuck to the road. A 50 series sidewall wrapped around the 19 inch wheels. And we'll work our way up to the combination of the body color and gloss black mirror caps. The mirror cap being gloss black and the bottom portion here, obviously the performance red body color. Manually folding, turn signal indicators built in, power adjustable and heated as well. So in case you're curious about what all is there, now you know. Here is the remote as of 2023 and a very nice roof line, everything looking nice and sleek, a nice black spoiler. It's gonna be in gloss black, that fits. A-spec logo back here, obviously the TLX and Acura logos, and once again, LED lighting. Very nice look with the LED tail lights. And we finish things off with the exhaust finishers that really give it a nice look. Just something that's a little bit on the unique side, not your typical round exhaust outlets. And something else you won't find with the Accord as of 2023 or any year before that, I don't know if it's ever been here before, but it isn't right now. And that's going to be the hood struts right here that help to open and keep the hood open. That's nice. You don't have to go hunting around for a manual prop rod to put in place. If you're not a car fanatic, that may mean absolutely nothing to you, but it's here, it's worth mentioning. And under the hood, the two liter turbocharged four cylinder, something you can't get with the 2023 or 11th generation of the Honda Accord. In this case, 272 horsepower, 280 pounds speed of torque, mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And how about the MPGs? Let's take a quick look. We're looking at 22 city, 30 highway, 25 combined and four gallons of gas for every 100 miles driven. I don't know that this is the best view of everything, but you can see the sticker. If you wanted to see the window sticker, here it is. You can pause the video right now if you want to. And here is the price as far as the base price goes. Now, there are some features that have been added here by Or Acura. Just in case you were wondering, I'm just going to show everything that's here so you can see those are the added features, the overall price. 
And if you're saying, well, how much gas can I put into my TLX A-Spec? This model has a 15.9 gallon gas tank. And what about cargo capacity? Well, let's hit the button here to open the trunk. You can see that you can push the button right there. One of the options you can use to open the cargo area revealing 13.5 cubic feet of cargo capacity. There is a reasonable amount of space if you want to lower the rear seats like I have already done. You just pull on those releases. The plastic obviously won't be on there unless you want to leave it there. Maybe you're like Monk and you don't want fingerprints on your cargo releases or your rear seat releases, whatever you say. Whatever those are called, I don't know. But one way or another, that's what everything looks like as far as your space goes. And for those who might say, well, how steep of an angle do you have with those seat backs folded flat? Sometimes with some vehicles, you may see it like that, but in this case, that's what you have. So allowing for some options as far as what you can haul in your TLX. And if you're going to have anybody riding in the back seat, what will they find? Well, they're gonna find a nice armrest here, plenty of space, and it is comfortable, nice, overall design with the door panel and a decent size door bin. And I do like the fact that the ebony interior is broken up by the contrast stitching in red right here. And you can see the overall look and design with the seats. As far as everything looks, let's hop inside. You will find the rear seat pockets on both sides and then air conditioning vents on the rear of the center console and I guess I would call that a conventional size sunroof. It seems a little larger maybe than a conventional size. It's not panoramic, that's for sure. But in case you were wondering about that, that's what's here. And with the front door, basically the same setup we saw with the rear, a little bit more space with the armrest and a larger door bin because you do have a little bit of a larger door as well as the A-Spec logo on the door sill, power seats for the driver and the passenger, heated and ventilated. That is a good thing. The A-Spec logo down there on the floor mats as well. You can obviously put the carpet inserts in if you want to, but you don't have to. And a quick look across the dash. As far as the overall design goes, you do have a push button shifter. Some like it, some don't. Tell me what you think about that. Would you like to see something different? Always curious to know what your thoughts are where that is concerned. And then we'll also find that you can turn the auto stop start feature off right here. That's always a good thing. Brake hold mode right there. You can turn that on or off depending on what you need to do. Control the volume of the radio right there and surf through different stations. As well as taking advantage of the cup holders, you do have wireless charging. And here's what we have with the center console. Not a super high lid, but that's okay. I think it will work. You could lower the seats down if you need to to use that as an armrest more effectively, depending on who you are and how tall you are. And you'll notice that we have our USB connectivity right here as well as an auxiliary jack right there. And one thing you didn't see in the back seat were USB options as far as connectivity goes. Well, you can easily fix that with this 12 volt power outlet by simply running an adapter to your rear seat passengers. And as you would expect here on the upper console, you can see what all is there, including the control right here for opening and closing the sunroof. It slides or tilts open depending on what your desires are. Here on the driver's side door, we're going to find, well, what you would expect to find. You do have another option for opening the trunk right there. I told you about that. There's a couple of different options. You can control your heated power adjustable side view mirrors. You know what else is here. One other thing you will find here, you won't find on the passenger side right here, seat memory. So good to know that there are two settings for that. The power parking brake is located right here. And then if you want to adjust the tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel, there is how you do that. And we'll hop inside. And here is the greeting when you get in. You not only hear that, but you see it too. So let's go ahead and hit our push button start. You can see what you have here. A little bit of an animation there before things come to life. A simplistic dash design, but yet I think it gets the job done. You do have your analog gauges that I know a lot of you prefer over the digital. And 
Obviously, if you want to work your way through the 10-speed automatic transmission, depending on the mode you're driving in, you can use your shifter paddles right there. And the turn signal indicators on the outside of the vehicle, some of you know how to use those, some of you don't. That's how you control it for those of you who do know how to use them. And you can turn your headlights and fog lights on, all that good stuff right there. And then the control for your windshield wipers right here. Now, you'll notice that the screen, the infotainment screen or center screen, is pretty far away. I mean, at five foot ten, my arm's not long enough to reach that. That's why it's not a touch screen. So you'll use the trackpad right here. And I know there's going to be varying opinions on that. So depending on who you are, you may or may not like that. But it doesn't take much to get used to. You do have the built-in navigation. That's something that I know a lot of people like to know about. So it is here. You can pair your smartphone. You have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Quite a bit going on here with the vehicle. Pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to use. I think once you get used to the trackpad, no big deal. And especially, again, if you're like Monk, well, guess what? You don't have to worry about fingerprints on your touch screen. That's always a good thing. And when we go into reverse, obviously you're going to have the rear view camera. We'll take a look at what we have or the multiple views with the camera. You can see what all is here. And like I said earlier, you have heated three different stages and ventilated three different stages. I'm actually going to turn that on. And obviously dual zone climate control, easy to figure out, easy to use. And I talked about driving modes earlier. So what exactly are the driving modes? Well, you have comfort. Let's see if we can get that to move for us. There we go, normal. And then you have sport. Now you also have individual. You're just going to push right here to get to that area, and then you can make changes as you see fit. Pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to use. Overall, good technology, but fairly simple. Not a big deal. Now, you don't have wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. You will need to use your USB cable to pair your smartphone. Just in the interest of fair reporting, that is what is here. Just to let you know, you do have some gloss black in this area. I don't think that's going to be a big deal because I just can't imagine fingerprinting that up too much because you just put your fingers wherever they need to be because you really don't have to touch that. I know that's the big knock on gloss or piano black, depending on what you want to call it. So depending on who you are, you may or may not like that. And by the way, you do have a sunglass holder here if you are curious about that. Some vehicles these days not coming with a sunglass holder that I've seen on the market. So just a nice little convenience that is added as far as what is here. There is the glove box, by the way. I don't think I showed that earlier. Quite a bit of space in there. No gloves. Do you keep gloves in your glove box? I don't know if anyone even does that. And when you turn the ignition off, just the way you were greeted to get in, you also have the Acura's way of saying goodbye, basically, as you saw and hopefully heard right there. Okay. I'm going to go out for our test drive with the TLX. And you know, if, if you don't think this is enough, 272 horsepower, well, you could go with the Type S. Obviously, there are options, and that's quite a bit more horsepower coming in at 355, but this seems to get the job done just fine. Like I said earlier, great handling. It's a lot of fun to drive. If you're having a tough day and you're one of those people that, well, you blow off steam by going out and having a spirited drive, definitely can understand that. This is a car that will deliver for you where that's concerned as far as its handling capabilities go. It handles well. You don't have to drive it aggressively necessarily to enjoy that, but you're at a place where you can get away with it. Yep, go right ahead. And the ride quality is comfortable at the same time. So at least by my standards, Depending on what you're used to and what the road quality is like where you live, well, you may have varying opinions on that. It just depends. That's one reason why it's really best to get out and drive these vehicles for yourself. You know, my information, my input may be completely different from what your experience would be out on the road, but one way or another, it's a fun car to drive, easy to learn technology, even though I know a lot of people are saying, well, I'd like to have a touch screen instead of the trackpad down there. It's still not difficult, I, at least not for me, and I don't drive these all the time. Uh, definitely not my daily driver, but at the same time, I'm still 
able to adjust easily. So I feel like it shouldn't be a difficult task for anybody else. And when you need power, you have power. You can get on the, on the pedal, 272 horsepower will definitely get you down the road and up to speed without any trouble. If you're on a two lane road like this and it's a safe place to pass, and you need to pass a slower moving vehicle that's maybe driving under the speed limit, well, you can do that too, very easily. And you have your multiple driving modes depending on your situation. So it gives you a lot of different options as far as that goes. Uh, just really a fun vehicle to drive overall. I must say uh, the seats are comfortable as well, obviously fully adjustable, so that makes a big difference. And I do like the fact that while we're getting into a time of the year where it's finally starting to cool down here in early October, well, ventilated seats are still beneficial, that's for sure. But you have the heated seats here, so depending on where you live, well, you may not care about the ventilated seats, but we had quite a summer here in Northwest Louisiana, upwards of 115 degrees several days. It felt like it was 150, not 115. The ventilated seats help with that. Overall, a fun vehicle to drive, especially that Type S. A little more horsepower doesn't ever hurt. So tell me what your thoughts are. Do the features match the price for this 2023 Acura TLX A-Spec? I'm always curious to receive your feedback and see what you think. If you currently own a TLX, what trim level do you have? And tell me what you like most about it. I do want to say a special thanks to my friends here at Or Acura. If you want to know more about this particular model, check out the link in the description of the video. And don't forget about that vehicle visionary discount only available here at Or Acura in Shreveport, Louisiana. And I also want to say a special thanks to each and every one of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn about additional vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing or simply learn about, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I will see you there.